Today on Alaskan Ballistics, the new FN 510. 10mm, baby. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. Chuk from Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. If you haven't, go subscribe to him. Go subscribe to him and troll him pretty good. Anyway, he let me borrow his 510 from FN. He just bought this. And it is pretty nice. And so we went out and shot it today. Let me show you what we got here. All right. We've got a 510. Empty and clear. Threaded barrel. Nice stippling up here on the front to do press checks and that kind of thing with, or to lock it, lock it open. Got some pretty nice big slide releases, or slide locks rather. And here you have your optics mount. And that does seem to come off with the wings right there. I believe the rear sight actually stays on. And so you've got your winged rear sight to protect your sights from, you know bumping in the woods and that kind of thing. You've got, and I don't like this, I never have, uh, magazine release buttons on both sides, so this gun is fully ambidextrous. Slide release, slide lock on both sides as well. And, you know, it's overall pretty decent feeling. I'm gonna be honest with you, when shooting it, this really interfered with my, my knuckle right in here, and I really just detest this grip texture from the FN it is terrible. All right, it needs to be a lot more like this right here, a lot more like a Smith and Wesson M&P 2.0, a Beretta, APX, a Glock even has better grip texture than this. This is just very uncomfortable in the hands, and it's on the front too. Also, when you're got a nice grip on it, there's enough recoil that this whole ledge around the slide lock and this. You know, just really uncomfortable to shoot. So it's, I really don't like it, to be honest with you. But it works good. Reset. The trigger reset is not bad, but the trigger itself is terrible. Creep, 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 creep. There's your reset right there. So, yeah. Overall, not really impressed. I just don't like the feel of this grip. This in here while you're shooting is just intrusive. I can see shooting all day with high power 10 millimeter, and this would just absolutely destroy your hand. Just not the gun for me, that's for sure. It does work well. It does come with a 15 round magazine, and it does come with a 22 round magazine. So you'd have 23 rounds in the gun, 22 plus one. These magazine springs on both of these mags are very tight, getting the last round in. Pretty tough, not impossible, but pretty tough, so I, I like that. That means the springs are calibrated in the magazines to run full pressure ammo. Otherwise, you know, if it's too light, it won't run a faster moving slide. So we're going to take it out of the range. We're going to shoot several rounds of SIG through it. The SIG Full Metal Jacket is true 10 millimeter power stuff. We're going to run five rounds of Underwood 155 grain and five rounds of Underwood 200 grain hard cast. See how it likes them. See if it'll feed them. And that'll be it. So I'm going to run quite a bit of SIG ammo through it and see how it likes it. All right, first shots with the FN 510, the new 10 millimeter from FN. Let's see how it does. Fifteen rounds, very accurate in the middle of the target. Unlike Chook, who is pulling low and left again, this gun is accurate. So make sure you go and troll Chook about that. We're only about five yards, but still, you know, very tight grouping in the middle of the target. I like it so far. Not not crazy about the grip, but seems to be pretty good so far. All right, we have 155 grain Underwood XTP hollow points. Then we have 200 grain Underwood. Hard cast, we're gonna see if this FN will feed the heavy loads. Here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, fed them just fine. So, yeah, like it. it. Fed it just fine. All right, some final thoughts. It is a good working gun. It's very reliable, as far as I can tell. You know, easy to you know clean and break down right here. Just turn that and pull the trigger, and it comes off. So make sure it's unloaded. You know, it takes the barrel out and everything the same way. Looks like Chuke probably didn't clean it, and neither did I. So, you know, got to give him props for that. But it does work. Final thoughts. I don't like the, the way this right here interacts with your thumb when you have a grip like this or so. Maybe you guys can correct me on the grip, but it just rides into your thumb. Uh, the back strap is very uncomfortable, like it is in the 509 for me. I know that's personal preference and nitpicky, but honestly, between that and the extremely spongy trigger, that's a hard pass for me. I would not spend the thousand, eleven hundred dollars, whatever this gun is going for on the market, for this. Especially if I'm spending a thousand, eleven hundred dollars, the trigger better be daggum good. Come on, FN. Who designed that? Who? What type of harebrained guy did you have designed that? The trigger better be better than a three-pound Apex trigger if I'm spending a thousand bucks on a gun. Otherwise, I should just buy a Glock. But anyway, nice gun. You know, well balanced, very reliable, very accurate. I actually shot it better than I did my Glocks today. So, anyway, runs reliably. I wasn't going to dip it in the snow or anything like that. This is Chuke's gun. I'll let him do that on his channel for endurance testing. But, yeah, runs well. Very uncomfortable. Could have been really good. All right, so, FN, you got some things to work on. Make sure you check out our Facebook, our new Instagram, The Real Alaskan Ballistics. Make sure you check out our MeWe pages. That's where we have all our, our affiliate links that YouTube and its anti-free speech will not let us share. And don't forget that we also have the arms directory page as well. T-shirts in the description below. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.